Hi. Um, I'm going to share with you, but by the time I know for sure Sue Ann will have this before I upload it. But I just wanted to share with you a uh, few things I'm sending her as a rack. She had sent one to me and a birthday card and she's just really a dear friend. But I'm going to send her these here stamps. Can't wait to see what she makes out of these. This here box says life is beautiful. And then when you open it which, uh, let me see if I can, I uh, did some punches for her. I'm going to send her some lace. I made these flowers, so I hope you use it. I also made her this here card. I'm not going to show you the inside. So that way she can read it and she will share it with you. But I also, this, which I gotta retape this, some more ribbon. These are Tim Holtz butterflies. I did color this one, but I will be sending her one she can color herself. Um, a love, what is that, like chipboard or whatever. And then I die cut some of these and then made this and it just says just for you. She can decorate this one herself. Then I also made her, which that'll be the empty box. I cut these out of the paper. Now whether she uses it or not, that's up to her. That's why I did it this way. But I thought of putting that up on foam tape and then this one here to give it a more raised look. Now she can, like I said, she can do what she wants with it. The album is blank. It is all up to her for what she wants to do. But I'm just going to give you a quick, uh, basically, look of what I did. And I hope she shares with what she winds up doing with it. Oh, what is this? Michael's paper. It's at 12 by 12. And this is the... Uh, it's a three inch spine, and then that's the back of it. And then on the inside, it will open up like this. Oh, I should get there. Try to get this in here. Then these are magnets. This opens up like that. And then each one of them I had get this um, done one so it'll match the paper this way and then it'll match the paper this way so whichever way you open it the paper will match but I'm not going to pull each one of them out and then I just use a decorative oops well, let me see. A decorative border on each one of them. So then, next page is just got a pocket. And then an insert. I left them all blank. Um, you can journal, add a photo. They're big enough. Either one, whatever you decide. And let me get this in here. And this side opens up like this. It's got another journal and a pocket. Well, 
going to get it up in there. Well, I had that later. We'll just set it right there. Another pocket and a journal. They do go back in. It's easier when they're not so tight. Let me try that again. I should say lay them flat. Okay. Then this one looks like that. I've got it tied with some lace. It opens up like that. It's got a couple tags. And they're blank on the back. Then another Then this one, same thing. It's got another pocket, some journaling tags. I'll tie that up. Same thing, another pocket. It's blank. All of them's blank on the back if I haven't already said that. This one opens up like that. Another pocket. And then I did a flip. It opens like that. And Sue Ann's color she likes a lot is pink. Oh, pink. Purple. Um, shabby chic and vintage. So I tried doing it based on the color she likes. And then, like I said, she can do what she wants. I didn't decorate nothing. It's all up to her to do. So, Sue Ann, I hope you like the album and everything that I'm sending. I do appreciate your friendship and... I hope you like everything. Enjoy and let me see what you wind up with in the end. So thanks for watching and you have a good day. Bye.